Hi, this is Hugh. Welcome to Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, today we're going to be, I'm going to be talking about this Holy Todd HS330 mini drone. I just did a review of a Holy Stone mini drone that I wasn't real crazy about, so I thought I should do a, a video on a mini drone that I happen to really like a lot. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the table here so you can see. I'll go over the different things that come with it and stuff. And then we'll zoom back out and we can do a little bit of flying. Very little bit. First we'll cover everything that comes in the box. That should... That way I can get this stuff out of the way. Alright. In the box. This is what comes with the Holy Ton HS. 330 mini drone. First you get your little owner's manual. You'll also get a LiPo battery warning card which doesn't have to be in here at the moment but it will come with one of those. You get four replacement propellers, two blue ones and two black ones, probably also labeled A and B. Okay you get this little prop wrench this is to help you remove your props without uh, bending them. Because sometimes you want to remove them just to remove any debris. You might have a little cat fur or a blade of grass or something tangled up in there. So this is nice. This will help you get your props out without, off without hurting them. And you get this little tiny screwdriver. And I think you would be using this because these shields over the each propeller which is kind of like a little, almost like a duct propeller, but it's not very wide. Anyway, each one of these has three screws that secure this top piece on. So I'm assuming that's what the screwdriver is for, because if you ever want to change the props, you're obviously going to have to take these off. Then you're going to have to watch for any coating, which is usually A and B. Uh, I, think, I don't think I'd go by color, because these are side by side, and, and the uh, propellers that match are usually kitty corner from each other, so don't so I would I would check see what they're labeled just to be on the safe side so okay you get three of these batteries these attach to the bottom of the drone basically you just click it into place it fits in these little notches and slide it forward it'll kind of click in and you're all set so you get three of those and you get this charger this is a USB charger and I like this one, it'll do two batteries at once. So that's that's really neat. And you always want to let your batteries cool before you charge, of course. And, uh, you know, read all those cautions about uh, LiPo batteries, because they can be dangerous if not used properly. So, okay, um, so, first, let me see here. Now, I can't guarantee this price, of course. Right now, it's on Amazon. It looks like for $24.49. So, I figure $25. Okay, so now, let's go over the, the uh, transmitter. This is pretty basic. You have two top buttons here. The one on the left is your rates. There's three rates, which is basically three speeds. You'll get one beep for first rate, two beeps for second, and three beeps for third rate. And over here, you've got your flip button. You push the flip button once, and then push this control lever into whichever way you want it to flip, forwards, backwards, or roll left, roll right. So that's how that works, that's pretty simple. And over here, this button right here, which is below this control, this one here, it would be on the right as you're looking down. This is your um, headless mode. And over here, below this knob, or below this stick, you have your one button takeoff and landing. And of course you have the usual controls. This is a, this is a mode two, so this side will be up and down, which, you know, accelerate. And then uh, yaw left and yaw right. And the right one will be pitch forward, pitch reverse, roll left, roll right. Now being it's not a helicopter, I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but that's the way I do it, so <laughs> hopefully it's not too awfully wrong. So I like I like the remote. It's small, but I like the fact that it doesn't have uh, 
these buttons don't have two different functions. I don't like that. It's just too much to remember. So anyway, the it, and it does some things that aren't on this uh, transmitter too, which I'll get to in a minute. So then you have, of course, the drone itself. You can see the size of it. Give you an idea if you know how big a hockey puck is. There you go. So, a little bit bigger than a hockey puck as far as the dimensions go. So, anyway, I covered that. Now, this is also, uh, this drone also has a uh, throw and go or a sensor mode. That's where you don't use the transmitter. And I made some quick notes on that. To use the throw and go, one, you turn on the drone, one long press. Okay, that's pretty normal. And the uh, push button, which is like a tab type button, is on the bottom here. So, okay, now you've turned on the drone. Now it's two quick presses. And what those two quick presses of that button will do is activate the calibration. That's going to make these lights flash quickly. So now, you want to place it on a flat level surface and wait for the lights to stop to flash slower. Okay, once so after you've pushed it twice and they start, you wouldn't want to set it down right away. You don't want to monkey around because then you might have to start all over again. So once you've turned it on by pressing it once, then you you take the same button, give it two quick presses. The lights will start flashing quickly. You set it on a flat surface. You wait for the lights to slow down. They'll still be flashing, but they'll flash slowly. And then, at that point, all you have to do is pick it up, put it on the palm of your hand, and give it a flip, and away she goes. Now, and there's also listed in the, in the owner's manual, there's uh, different functions you can use in that mode. And those would include hand control gestures listed for other sensor modes you have one of them is auto rotating and that's one hand gesture used for that and then you can also use hand different hand positions to get it to flip and roll and then you can also do a circle fly and and i won't i i don't do the throw and go flying but i i just thought i'd mention that in all the directions for each hand gesture for each mode is listed in the manual I won't go over that. So what I'm going to do right now is we're going to zoom back out a little bit and then we'll fly it a little bit and uh, I'll show you how it flips and stuff. Oh and I should say before we get started that you know I was pretty rough on the HS450 drone. I, I didn't really care for it. I just thought it does, does some things well but I think there's just too many things that it doesn't do well. Well, this little drone here, it doesn't have a ton of stuff on the remote or on the transmitter, but everything it does, it does really well. It's very stable in flight. It feels like it's on a rail. And the same with the yaw. It's like it's on a turntable. Very stable, very responsive, just a real joy to fly. And instead of falling down when you flip, it tends to go up, which I think is better for indoors because of furniture and hats and stuff like that. So anyway, we'll zoom back out and we'll fly it a little bit. And hopefully I won't screw that up too bad. Alrighty, through the magic of video we should be able to edit all this out of it. Okay, without showing my whole messy basement, we'll do it right about there. Alrighty, so I already did this video once. I spent the whole video calling it a Holy Stone drone, and it's a Holy Ton drone, H-O-L-Y-T-O-N. If I screwed it up in this one, you're just going to have to put up with it because I two times is my limit. Okay, we will start by turning on the. There's a button. It's one a tab type button on the bottom. You press that once. Long press. It comes on. You'll see the spotlight and the tail light flashing. I'm going to turn on the remote. And this is not hobby grade, so you don't have to turn on the remote first like you would with a hobby grade, uh, you know, helicopter or drone or whatever. So, okay, now everything's flashing. We go forward and back. That's with the left stick. Okay, it'll stop flashing. 
And let's see, to calibrate, I believe it's both sticks down and in. No, okay, it's down and left. There you go. Both sticks down and left and she's calibrating. Lights stop flashing. Now it's ready. So we're gonna take off here. And this is gonna be tricky because I'm looking right at the lights here. And there we go. Really, this thing is so, it just looks so flat when it's in the air. I just love the way this thing flies. So let's try a couple of flips here. Get it up there a little bit. Okay. Flip this way. Alright, screw up closer. Let's do a flip to the side. Okay. Don't want it on top of my head. Let's flip it once to the other side. Okay, so there's your flip and roll. Now this is uh, rate one, not too steep. Now this is a little bit quicker. Hopefully you can see that. And this is rate three, which is considerably quicker. So, and I don't know if it flips any different. Okay. So, oh, let's show the yaw at it. Make sure it's the right height so you can see this. And there's your yaw. Which works pretty nicely. Now, I don't know if there's a way to disable that spot, spotlight. Um, it doesn't, it, it's got pretty good flight time, so I, I've never really worried about it. So, but uh, I guess you could look into that. If you know that there's a way to disable that light, um, leave it in the comments. I'm sure we'd be glad to hear about it. So I'll bring it over here. Under the table. Like I said, this thing is so easy to fly. Oops. That did that because I hit the wrong button the first time. Let's uh, show that again because it actually lands better than that. Okay. There you go. So there you have it. This is the Holy Ton HS330. And you know, I uh, I can say my last video was about the uh, Holy Stone, which was the, uh, I believe the HS450. And I, I didn't care for it. And I made that pretty clear. So I thought it'd only be fair to do a, a short video on one that I really like. And, and this drone is actually a little bit cheaper. I think that one was, I forget, $27, $28. And this one's like $25, bucks, give or take. So uh, comes with everything except batteries for the uh, remote. And there's a screw in there, so I can't tell you exactly how many it takes right now. I'm sure it's, it looks by as small as it is. I'm going to guess they're AAAs, and there's probably three or four of them. So there you go. Here you have it. And... Uh, Great little drone for the money, and I, I, I can't think of anything I would change on it, except maybe if, I, and it, it may be possible to disable this spotlight, I don't know. But like I said, it, it's got pretty decent flight time anyway. I believe they say 21 minutes of flight, but they're talking about all three batteries, so that's basically seven minutes per battery if you're flying really slow and not doing anything. So anyway, great little drone, great little value. I give it four stars, no problem. Really enjoy it. Until next time, I just want to say fly straight, don't crash, and if you do, don't worry about it because everybody does. And uh, I'll talk to you soon. Enjoy the game tonight.